Right, let's continue our playthrough. If it is up here, it should be up here somewhere. Where are you? Mega Man 3, Mega Man 3. Oh, of course, it's because I dragged it in. I might have to do it the old fashioned way. Uh, let's see, NES. I don't know if my splits are still usable from last time. Uh, is it worth me using an E-Tank here? Hmm, probably worth taking a death. Let's just do that actually and we'll come back with full health. Not sure if that'll break our splits, but even if it does, we've got the first time at the start there. What is it I want here, RJ? Need to make sure and pick up those things. I'm just thinking, do I have hardcore mode turned on? Well, I mean, I can always make a save state and then switch it off if it need be. Is that just a bait? Don't know if it's worth going for that, but it's there, so might as well. No, I don't ha I've got hardcore mode disabled actually, so it's fine. I find the Mega Buster is more useful than, than most weapons for this one. Just keep in mind I've got plenty of E-Tanks to burn. Nice. We'll keep up our quick saves though, just to be cautious. I 
Right, boss of it here, no idea what's going to be best, uh, best weapon for this one. Let's just give them all a try, see what happens. semi-effective. Okay, that's the one to go for. I'm not sure how this actually affects my splits. That wasn't the full level, but it's the best I can do when I take this break between one second, I've just got a message I need to deal with. I forgot to have my rewind feature on, might as well use it. Make things go a bit smoother. I'm just playing these games casually for now. And then uh, at some point I'll decide whether I'd uh, like to maybe play them a bit more, speedrun them, or uh, or just be happy to have kind of finally beaten them in a kind of roundabout, semi-cheating, what you do in the year 2024 kind of way. meant to jump down there, yep. Not really worth getting that. Oh, these things can be awkward. I wonder if there's a better weapon for this. Gemini weapon do actually, I'm quite curious. Literally nothing. Top spin? Nothing. Some of the weapons in uh, Mega Man 3 are a bit. Not as useful, I don't think the snake one will do anything either, actually. Eh, let's stop mucking about here, we've got enough to get past us. No real point in quick saving while I've got the uh, the rewind function. Just come in handy again here, I guess. Oh no, not not like that though. Good old Mega Blaster seems to do the job better than anything. Oh, plenty of lights here, nice wee bit to farm. Oh, boss side time. Do our usual try out the weapons. That's well, decent, but not amazing. That just bounces right off him. Magnet does almost nothing. Top spin looks super ineffective. Snakes? Oh, 
don't really do anything. Spark just bounces off. Shadow Blade any good? Can't pause the game. I was trying to pause to use an e tank. We'll take that. Didn't even need the tank. Quite looking forward to playing Mega Man 4 after this, because uh, I just played a bunch of that for the Big 20. So at least sort of six of the main robot levels are familiar to me. Oh, this will be a chance to use that submarine that we never use. Is it this one here? I think it's this one. Kind of swimming in extra lives right now. Didn't expect him to come down the ladder like that. Another boss fight, it's probably going to be worth... Nah, I've got plenty of lives actually, we'll just burn a life here. Figuring out what the best damage is for him. I played a little bit of Mega Man in the past, but not enough to know that there was these uh, sections were like... Oh, that does almost nothing. With the... Uh, sort of combined robot masters. Too much. I'm just going to eat the E-Tank here actually, just to help things go along a bit smoother. Right, so I think this last revisit... Uh, and then... I presume you go to Wily... Oh god. I presume you go to Wily's castle right after that.
A little bit of a cheat with the old uh, rewind feature there, but if you've got it, flaunt it. I see how they work. Man, that, that is some awkward little platforming you have to do for that one. It's a boss fight here though. Wonder what we have to use against this guy. Snake line gonna come in handy for once. Mm, they're okay if you can actually land them. Sparks do almost nothing. Shadow bleeds okay. No, no nothing I've got is really, really damaging the guy. Didn't really want to use an E-Tank there, but it's better than uh, wasting too much time on him. Thank you. 
We we'll just burn a life here actually because we've got plenty to spare. Then try and work out a quick way to cheese this guy. Try Gemini first. Did almost nothing. Hard one did almost nothing. Magnet man. No, not great. Somehow I didn't think top spin was going to be the answer. Shadow Blade's the best for it. really want to waste my last E tank here but I'll try doing it without the E tank since it's my last one. Managed it, no more. Yeah, it should unlock the way to Wily's castle, I think. Break man, okay. I'm just gonna quickly check the wiki here, just to see uh, what we, just to see what the uh, ideal weapon to use against this guy is, because he looks like he might be an issue. Breakman! <laughs> Apparently you have to use a Mega Buster for this one. Surprisingly reasonable. I'm just going to stick my walkthrough in the background there, so I've got a rough idea of a... Uh, what the weapons I should be using are. Right, Wily's Castle. That seems like an awful temptation having that extra life there. When you're never going to go for that, well probably in a speedrun you wouldn't, to be honest. I 
Not too sure how many stages there are for Wily's Castle here. Well, that's a nice little lead tank to find though. I think there's five. Terrified of those spikes, but uh, with the rewind function in effect, nothing to be too concerned about. These little penguins are a little annoying though. Take that. Not too worried about extra lives at this point, to be honest. E-tanks would be very useful, but we'll stick with what we have for now. Oh, this bit looks awkward. Bit of breathing room. What's the best way to do this then? Could have played that better, but whatever. Need to use an item here. Not even going to bother going for that health. Eh, might be worth picking that up. Just gonna do a quick bit of reading on this boss. Kamegoro Maker. What's it weak to? Apparently top spin for once is the best weapon. Not even really aware how I'm doing damage to the thing there, but okay. I don't know if you even want to hit the uh, the machine or if you just want to hit the fish. Let's try. Let's try just hitting the fish. I mean, it did a tiny bit of damage to him. Looks like I did a little bit more. I, okay. That was quite easy. Just looking up there, apparently the boss of the snake stage is weak to the hard knuckles. Oh god, these things again. Left or right, always go for left. Oh. What was that, two E tanks and maybe four extra lays we've got? Five extra lays, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, not the bees. Always good against those, the shadow thing. Anyways, man. Yeah, we could do this a lot better.
Is that possible, that jump? Oh, just. Kind of have to worry a bit when the game's chucking that many E-Tanks at you. Oh, no, I know what the spot is. Right, hang on. Yellow level 2, weak against the hard knuckle, which can be in 5 hits. Shadow Blade also does considerable damage. Uh, Alright, hard knuckle the guy. This is a rematch of uh, Yellow Devil from uh, Mega Man 1. I can't believe they did the same thing again, man. This is br I hate this thing. I hate the yeah, first Yellow Devil. I hate this one. You can't miss a hit with this guy, you just can't. Can you get two hits off on him? That'd be massive if you could. Doesn't look like it. You know what, this one's not too bad if you pay attention to, to where they're coming from. Which I'm obviously not doing a great job of right now, otherwise I wouldn't take so many hits. There's always a little double jump for that last one. Now I was ready for that double at the end there. Oh, that's a brutal boss. Jesus. Oh, I totally mucked up my splits. Oh well, not that it really matters as long as the end goal gets uh, gets done in. Right, let's just uh, look up what we're doing next. Apparently when we get there we want the snake or the uh, top spin for the snake's boss. There's got to be an easier way to do this, like what if I just use my Gemini? One way of doing it. Can I tend to go right here? I 
free E tank, we'll take that without question. I think the boss of this one is. Uh... Oh, I just knew that would be attempted. You know, we don't really need that. I think the boss of this one is some like Mega Man clones. It seems to seems to say according to the wiki. So let's see what that's like. I think you just kind of have to watch for the eyes with those guys, and then as soon as they open their eyes, you jump. They, they could be much more awkward. Right, uh, what did I say we want to use topspin here? Much quicker than I expected it to go. I looked like I was going to die there for sure. Right, what's this next level? Uh, this is one of these rematch levels where you fight all of the robot masters at once, it looks like. So, what can we fill up here? What's looking low? Uh, probably our Hardman and our Gemini shot looks kind of low. These splits are actually going to come in handy here, so I can work out what to use against what guy. Should have probably picked that up, to be honest. Right, looks like a rematch of the mall situation. Right, we'll go for uh, let's go for Needleman first, who is apparently weak to Gemini. Hopefully, we get some healing with these. Quite short there. I was lucky. One below that is Magnet Man, who is weak to the spark.
Not as smooth as I would have liked, but that's fine. Right, next Gemini man, he's weak to the snake. This one. to the snake my ass. Uh, next hard man, he's weak to the magnet. Hopefully this guy goes down without much of a fight. I'm out of magnet just... Man, he's weak to hard man's weapon. I just realized I have five E tanks, so I might as well use them. Then Sparkman and Shadowman. Sparkman's weak to Shadowman's weapon. Shadow Man should be weak to Top Man's weapon. That leaves Top Man, who's weak to the Mega Buster. Thank you. 
Am I crazy? That's all done. Oh yeah, and then... Okay, well what's behind this door then? Right. Pretty close to the end here. Actually, we should probably actually make use of that uh, weapon power up. Apparently the best boss uh, item to use here, sorry, is actually the Rush Jet. May have been too early on this one, actually. Do that again. Let me just double check this. Oh no, I want to use my spark shock first. And then the air uh, ship. Groveling for his life, but oh no! It's actually some kind of one robot thing. And then on to the final stage. Now let me just quickly read up on this one because uh, room, full of, room full of power ups. Grab as much as you can. You'll need it. Head to the mysterious right. Waiting for the floor. Shadow blade and hard knuckle. The weapons to use here. Shadow blade and hard knuckle. Right, so you basically want to start with your Shadow Blade and then use your Top Spin for the final boss. I mean, Top Spin's in you know, a very... Oh, I should probably actually use that for something. In you know, a very underwhelming uh, item so far, but we'll make sure to stock up on it. Uh, what's in this one? What did it say as well? Shadow Blade. We'll make sure we've got full Shadow Blade. Right, well, best of British, we've got plenty of E-Tanks, plenty of extra lives from all the shave, shave, save state shenanigans, so let's just dive right in and see what happens. Final boss fight of Mega Man 3. Completely mucked up my splits here. Dr. Wiley now. 
So apparently you want to use your top spin here. Got plenty of E-tanks. Oh god, that absolutely clotted him. Absolutely clotted him. And then a mysterious blue frigate appears. Epilogue. Mega Man, you've regained consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. This was this is yeah, Doctor Light. I wonder who brought you here. This whistle. It must have been Proto Man. And there we go. That the uh, Mega Man Three wrapped up. Even in mind that. I used save states for all of that and only about half of Mega Man 2. Yeah, it seems like a much more difficult game than Mega Man 2 and 1. Um, although certainly more power-ups around than there were in the previous two games. But yeah, you can definitely see the improvements as they go from uh, from game to game. Quite enjoyed that. Even with two, two full sittings to do, and I think it ended up taking about... Just under two and a half hours, two and two quarter hours, something like that. But yep, that's been uh, Mega Man 3, part two. And uh, I'll have a little break, I think, from the Mega Man games before uh, carrying on, because we're tearing through them now. That's one, two, and three done. Only, I think, four, five, and six on the original NES to go. And then, once we've got that far, we will move on to doing uh, the Mega Man X series. But until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.